Hello, fat friends. We're going to BBC Word. Let's talk about Aliu Bami Dili La Sisi. You can just say Aliu La Sisi, aka the Lucky Boy. That is his nickname. Oh, uh, he's a Nigerian super flyweight prospect, and he's a guy that has. 12 fights, eight of them via murder or knockouts. <laughs> I used guys say knockout, I say murder. Because when this guy hits, you know, he hits way harder than which my spit from a super flyweight. So, Ali Bami Dele La Sisi, or you say Lucky Boy. He's an autodos. He's 28 years old, has 67k ratio. He's the number one super flyweight in Nigeria. Currently, he resides at Dubai, United Arab Emirates. He was born in Lagos, Nigeria. So looking at Bami Dela's career, who is really not, you know, known yet because a lot of people still don't know who he is. But he is a prospect that is going to do wonders in a flyweight division. And he made his pro debut in 2015. And ever since he has been quite active, you know, he fought Tipa Kong Kong Wui and knocked him out in the first round on his pro debut. Then fought Soliang Suvanafaki, or I don't know how to pronounce the the last name, but Soliang is the first name. He knocked that guy out cold. A guy who was undefeated knocked him out cold. Oh no no. They went to distance anyway. Went to distance. Went to distance. Um then he fought Yula Dodu. Dodu. He knocked that guy out cold. A guy who only had one loss on his record. He fought a Ghanaian guy on his fourth fight named Atakofi. Then they went to points on distance. Then he fought Rafael Ansar. He knocked Rafael Anza out cold. Then fought Rafael uh, Billy Kwaye. Not Kwaye out cold. Then he fought Felis Unzuku. He knocked Unzuku out cold. Then he fought Isaac Okine. Knocked Isaac Okine out cold. And he fought Artid Bambru Ganyu. I don't know to pronounce that last name word. Bambru Gau. Then they were on distance. After that fought Hope Mawali. He knocked Mawali out cold in the second round. Then he fought Roland De Castillo. Knocked Castillo out cold. His last fight he fought Mkaya Yuana. Mkaya Yuana might be from Japan or not. I don't know. The name Yuana sounds Japanese. Then they went a distance. You know, Lucky Boy, um, when someone recommended him to me, Nelson, the founder of EPMG boxing management company the guy I interviewed last week I went to shake on the lucky ball Aliu Lasisi I mean he's still unknown but he's a very good boxer you know I watched some of his fights after Nelson recommended him to me so I think he needs promotion you know, because in a flower division right now, 
is that things are quite hot right now. And if La Sisi can really, you know, get into the spotlight, I think he's going to do wonders. He's going to do wonders. I, I can show you that, you know, because I've, I've been watching his fights, a couple of his fights, and I can see the skis right there. I can see it. The skis right there is there. It just needs to, you know, no work on something still. He currently resides at Dubai, you know. So, you know, Dubai, I don't know how you can manage or maybe elevate your career when you live in Dubai. I think you should definitely move to America. Let's say Britain, you know. Isn't Charlie Edwards um, a flyweight? Yeah, he, he is. Charlie Edwards were nice. A fight between him and Charlie Edwards would be interesting. You know. So... I don't know. He can fight um, Hatem Dalaikian. Although Hatem Dalaikian, yeah, he, he's a very good boxer. He has 18 and ho, you know, 10 knockouts. Hatem uh, Dalaikian is not a, is not a guy to be to, to be messed with. But I think the lucky boy can do it. Can do the job on him. You know, Charlie Edwards is the WBC, you know, flyweight champion. So, why Antem Dalaikian is the WBA flower champion? And Moruti Mtalain is the IBF flower champion. So, he can go through the Moruti Tarain, uh, Ta- Mtalain uh, route. Talain, or I call, I call him Talain, you can say Mtalain, but I call him Talain. Moruti Mtalain. Has 37, you know, 37 wins, two losses already, 35 knockouts. That guy is also not a joke. But if you want to be great, you've got to really, you know, go further. And he needs a better uh, manager, a guy like uh, Nelson Weaver would be very good for him. So let's see how his career progresses. Hopefully, he can get get hooked up with uh, some top um, top promoters. Uh, I think right now Eddie Hearn is the answer, but I don't know how he can connect with Eddie Hearn when he leaves in Dubai. But I'll be keeping watch, you know, on this career to see how it plays out. Um, hopefully, you know, he can make us proud and do wonders, you know. People don't really know him now, but I think when he gets to fight one of the champions, if he gets the chance to do so, he will be known. He will be known. That's for sure. So, by fifth on the fifth fifth of next month, he will be fighting for the vacant World Boxing WBC International Superweight Super Flyweight title. That's next month. He will be fighting for the WBC. International Super Flyweight title. So I will be watching that fight. I don't know how I can watch it because it lives in Dubai. But I will see how it how it goes. Give it a thumbs below, guys. Like the video, share, and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. And go follow me on Instagram at Boxing Block Center and as well on Twitter at Boxing Block. Cheers, everyone.